In 3D Studio Max, navigating is important, but it's boring to learn. But keep in mind that this is targeted for uh, for the noobs, um, the beginners that have never gotten into animating, modeling, or navigating in 3D space in 3D programs. Uh, so this is pretty much the basics of the basics, really. So let's begin. When you, open, when you have opened up uh, 3D Studio Max, it should look something like this. It might depend on what uh, version of Max you're running. I'm running uh, version 9. Um, anyways, go ahead and click File and Reset, and yes, it will revert and it will pretty much delete everything in your scene, all the settings, everything. So everything will be reset. That's what it is. It's, it resets. So it will be like starting up 3 Studio Max. So make sure to do that uh, when you follow a tutorial, because uh, then everything will be the same uh, on your screen as it is on my screen, uh, hopefully. Now let's begin. So uh, we have four different views here. You can uh, edit those views by going up to Customize, then Viewport Configuration here, then go to... Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, Customize. Uh, oh, I think it's there. I think it's there. Yep, viewport configuration and then layout. You can select if you want to have two. Then you have two and like this. And like this. This one's really nice. And this one's pretty cool too. And uh, yeah, I'm going to choose the standard one this tutorial but if you want to change that feel free to do it also if you click in the middle here you can click and drag to, uh, to just customize the user interface a little bit the viewport if you want to have something that you're working up working in here and you want to see the changes you just simply see the changes in a little bit uh, higher uh, higher resolution or pretty much just can see it more clear. Uh, anyways, oops, I found out a new thing. I just right clicked and then you can also always reset. I didn't know that, but I just had to check. I don't know why I did, just checked. I, I was thinking maybe I can right click and then reset. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So if you've done something and you want to get back to normal, just right click in the thing and reset it. So that's pretty neat. Now, Let's begin the tutorial. Oh well, we ha I guess we have already begun, but let's begin with a little bit more fun stuff. Okay, so um, let's go ahead up on this panel here called Create. Click there and click the Geometry button that looks like a spear uh, or a ball or whatever. Uh, there's the drop-down menu here with all different, all kinds of different stuff. Go to Standard Primitives and let's create. I don't know, cylinder? Let's create a cylinder. Um, just click, hold your mouse button and drag, and then let go when you want your changes, and click once again. Now, we have just created an object. By clicking and holding your middle mouse button, you can pan across the screen. Also, if you, if you click Ctrl R, you get this uh, circle. That's called the Arc Rotate tool, and if you click and hold inside this pair, you can move your mouse around to rotate your view, so you can move around the object. As you can see, if you click outside this circle and click and drag and stuff, uh, you will notice that you're actually tilting the camera. So if if you mess up your camera settings and if you would like to go back to normal, you can press Shift Control Z on your keyboard, simulation uh, Should work, Shift Control Z. It just should work. Okay, it doesn't work at the moment. Shift Control Z. I 
I don't know why it doesn't work. Well, that's weird. <laughs> well, I'll reset. Or maybe just rendering or customize. I don't know how to reset the camera, but it really should work. Now it does work. So if you just do something weird and you want to get back to normal, Shift Control Z will get you back to normal.